Colonel Robert Montgomery's first botanical passion was conifers. He started collecting them at his estate in Cocoscob, Connecticut back in the 1920s, and this interest continued throughout the rest of his life. He added to this passion an interest in palms and cycads when he moved down to Coral Gables, Florida in the early 1930s. However, and by the 1940s, he had probably the largest temperate conifer collection in the world, which later was donated mostly to the New York Botanical Garden. Montgomery introduced some conifers to his Coral Gable estate in the 1930s, but most of those were temperate and were not able to survive the tropical South Florida conditions. And at that time, very few truly tropical conifers were accessible to horticulture. So the conifer collection, the conifer interest of Colonel Montgomery, Montgomery was, was not, not really developed for many decades until the 1970s when Dr. That collection was developed to a small degree up until the 2000s when a handful of taxa, mostly from New Caledonia and other areas in the South Pacific, were grown. However, it was in 2007 that the collection began to be developed in earnest and it currently comprises over 150 species perhaps the richest tropical conifer collection in the Western Hemisphere. This collection has a slightly different focus than the palm and cycad collections, which are focused on representing population diversity and are mostly developed from wild collected seed. By contrast, the conifer collection is mostly developed by vegetative propagation from cuttings from botanical collections at gardens in the United States and abroad. And it's mostly focused on taxonomic diversity rather than population genetics. So usually we only have a few representatives of each species. But the uniqueness of the conifer collection is that very few gardens have grow tropical conifers at all. And it has become a very useful research, research because of its unusual and unique nature. And it also complements the cycad collection in particular because both of these groups harken back to the age of dinosaurs and together they help to create a very Mesozoic or Jurassic landscape which is very unique and very appealing for education and for the landscape horticulture aspect. And also very few tropical conifers have been trialed in South Florida for horticulture so it it's actually has a very important horticultural role and will hopefully help to expand interest in tropical conifers throughout the warm climates of the world and because like cycads many conifers are endangered or threatened it will also increase our knowledge of how to propagate and how to conserve these taxa through cultivation. Mm -hmm.